Hello everyone and welcome to Fun to be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun to be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. Pack your passports. It's time to go island hopping. We're here at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. It's considered a moderate resort. It has a reasonable rate and a great location. Did I happen to mention that you could take a flight on the Disney Skyliner? Stay tuned. Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort is designed with a Caribbean theme. Guests stay in one of the small buildings that encircle Barefoot Bay, a 45-acre lake. Buildings are grouped into one of five villages with shared resources, each named after an island in the Caribbean, including Barbados, Trinidad, Jamaica, Aruba, and Martinique. And we're just coming up on the main building that houses the lobby and front desk. Here it is, Old Port Royal, and we're going to proceed up ahead. We're going to go through these double doors into the main lobby. And we're immediately greeted by this nice island artwork up on the left hand side. But we're going to proceed straight ahead here and take a quick look at the vaulted ceilings. Themed in the tropical island style, all open and airy. But we're going to take a left here and we're going to go check out the front desk. There's the front desk just up ahead. And over to the right hand side is a nice little sitting area for your friends or family to wait for you while you check in. And here's the front desk. But we're going to proceed directly over to our right hand side and check out the gift shop here in the main building. Oh, and look up here. There's some tropical island paradise fans that cool you while you relax in the lobby here. But let's keep going straight ahead here and on the left and right there's some additional sitting areas for you to wait for your bus let's go check out the calypso trading post where they offer some island merchandise and look at this island inspired merchandise there's some plates with some characters like mickey on it let's see how much it is it's 34.99 they also offer some bowls let's double check here it's $29.99 for the bowls. They also serve some awesome serving trays. And some nicely themed shirts and mugs. Let's check out the backside, see if we could find the price for these little canteens. They are $27.99. Now let's take a quick look at the Calypso Trading Post and its merchandise wraps. But let's go to the back of the store and see what other items they have to offer. Oh, and look, they have bathing suits, towels, flip-flops, suntan lotion, and hats for the pool and beach. But let's reverse our direction and go out the way we came. Let's go check out the food court. And we're gonna head out the exit here. We're gonna make a quick right and we're going to head over to the Center Town Market. That's it, right up ahead here. Center Town Market is a quick service dining experience here at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. But now, let's check out the menu. Center Town Market at Caribbean Beach has a couple of featured offerings. For example, the Guava Danish for $3.99 and a Smart Water for $5.50. Let's go see what Centertown Market's food court has to offer and what it looks like. Grab and Go is currently not operating, but it's usually open for the breakfast hours. And up ahead here, it looks like we have a microwave, so you can warm your own food. And just past the microwave is a specialty coffee pickup window. And just around the corner here is the mobile order pickup area. And it's themed to Port-au-Prince and San Juan, just like the islands. And here's the mobile order pickup 
window. And over on the left hand side is a condiment station. And directly over to the right hand side is a refillable drink mug and soft drink station. Just up on the left hand side is a little terraced dining area to enjoy your meal. But we're going to keep going here. And over on the right hand side are some restrooms. And we're going to make a left here. And we're going to go out these doors through the exit. We're going to head over to the marina now. But before we do, let's take a look at Barefoot Bay Lake. And here's Barefoot Bay Lake. It looks so relaxing. And just across the way is the Disney's Riviera Resort, a sister resort here. And look, there's even Purple Martins. Off in the distance is a nice little beach with some island hammocks. Let's meet a Martin. Here's a quick look at the Purple Martins. And just behind the sign here is their little Purple Martin birdhouse. And here's the marina with the lighthouse out on Lighthouse Point. Now let's continue down the pathway and see if we could look at Sebastian's Bistro located on Barefoot Bay Lake as well. We're just coming up to the dock walkway where we're going to make a right, but I just wanted to show you just quickly. Here's the exit or outside of the main lobby building of the old Port Royal. But let's continue over to the right hand side and go check out Sebastian's Bistro. And just over to the right hand side, there's the lighthouse again. But we're gonna make a left and continue following this pathway here around the corner. And we've come up to Sebastian's Bistro, but sadly it appears it's temporarily unavailable. But let's continue and check out Banana Cabana. And here's a quick look at Banana Cabana, full side bar. Let's take a peek at the menu offerings here at Banana Cabana. Caribbean Beach's Banana Cabana Pool Bar offers some specialty drinks. For example, the Caribbean Smuggler for $12, Hoist the Colors for $12, and Mariner's Mojito for $13. But now, let's go check out Caribbean K, just up ahead here. Get out your passports, let's go island hopping. There's the Caribbean K Island. We're just gonna follow this pathway here, right over to the bridge. And if we look just over to our left-hand side, here is the Fuentes del Moro pool and aquatic play area. But let's continue and check out Caribbean K, just up here on the right-hand side. We're gonna make a right and go across this bridge here. We're just walking across the bridge, headed over to Caribbean K. Here's the sign right up ahead here. Caribbean K. And let's make a right and follow this little pathway here and see what we could discover down by Barefoot Bay Lake. Oh look, right up ahead here, there are some cannons themed like Pirates of the Caribbean. Look at this. And we've come up to this nice little tropical paradise. This is where they have movie under the stars. But let's keep going down the pathway and see what else we could find. Oh, and look at this guy here. We've just come up to the Caribbean K playground, all nice and shaded for the junior explorers. It's the Fuentes del Moro pool and aquatic play area again. There's even more tropical theming here on Caribbean K. There's a nice cabana and a really neat gazebo. Just off in the distance is the Jamaica beach, pool, and rooms. And if you look overhead, there's the Disney Skyliner. Let's go check out the Jamaica section just across the lake. We're gonna head over the bridge first. We're headed over the bridge right now. And if we look over to our left-hand side, there are the Jamaica rooms. Let's go see the exterior room hallways. We're just coming off the bridge now. But before we head over to Jamaica, let's make a right and take a quick look at the Aruba section. There's the Aruba rooms. Directly across the way is the Martinique section located next to Old Port Royal. Off to the left-hand side again is Disney's Riviera Resort. 
And if we would continue walking down this pathway, it would take us to the Disney Skyliner Station over at the Riviera. But let's reverse our direction and check out the Jamaica Rooms. Here's the bridge where we walked across from Caribbean K, but we're gonna continue up ahead and take a gander at the Jamaica section. On our left hand side is the Jamaica beach with the nice hammock and lounge chairs. But if we look just over to the right hand side, here's an entrance for the Jamaica pool. But let's keep going down the pathway and see if we could go to the second story balcony to get a bird's eye view of the pool. Here's the Jamaica pool again, but let's have a look at the exterior guest balconies here at the Caribbean beach. Here's what the room exteriors look like with the plaque on the outside, the door entry, and each room has a window to the exterior. There's even this nice shaded interior courtyard here in the Jamaica section as well. But now let's head down the steps and see if we can go check out the Barbados section directly across Barefoot Bay Lake. We're just headed down the steps now. And here we are at the Jamaica pool again. Each of the five villages has its own pool, beach, and interior courtyard. But let's go and see if we could check out Barbados section directly across the lake. Just across Barefoot Bay Lake is Barbados. That's the village of Barbados over there. But let's continue down this pathway and go see Trinidad. This pathway that I'm walking on now also doubles as a running trail that goes all the way around Barefoot Bay Lake. Also on the left hand side is a vehicle bridge and we're coming up to this nice shaded area and we're going to cross the roadway and head over to Trinidad Village. And we're just coming up to the fork in the road. We're going to make a left and we're going to walk over this bridge. We're on the bridge now. If we look over to the left hand side, there's the Barbados section. And if we pause and swing over to our right hand side, we're going to look at the village of Trinidad. That's where we're headed now. We're in the Trinidad theme section now. This must be a Pirates of the Caribbean theme room. The guests that are staying here must be pretty neat. They decorate their window. This is pretty fun. We're just coming up on the Trinidad pool here, but if we look over to the right hand side, here's Spyglass Grill. This is a normally a poolside quick service dining window, but at the moment it's temporarily unavailable. Now that we've seen Trinidad, let's go check out the Disney Skyliner and watch all of the guests take flight as they embark upon their journey over to Epcot or Disney Hollywood Studios. Just across the water, is Disney's Caribbean Beach Skyliner Station. This is the main hub with transfers to the Art of Animation Resort, Disney's Pop Century, and Disney's Riviera Resort. We're coming back up to this vehicle bridge here. We're gonna make a left and go check out the Disney Skyliner Station. And we're just crossing the bridge now. We're gonna take a closer look over at the Disney Skyliner Station. Here's a Disney Skyliner gondola coming in for a landing. Look at how gentle and graceful it comes in for its landing. And just over to the left hand side is the Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company kiosk. Now that we've seen the Disney Skyliner, let's head back to the old Port Royal. We're gonna take that pathway past Barbados and head towards the old Port Royal. We're on this pathway and directly behind us is Barbados, but if you look over to the left hand side, here's a nice little beach area with a hammock. Off in the distance is Caribbean K, and just up ahead here is the main pool. We're coming up to the Fuentes de Moro pool and aquatic play area. Just over to the left hand side is a spa, and look at this neat theming of the fort. Here's another look at the spa for grown-up explorers. But let's head down this pathway and go back to Old Port Royal. And there's the water slide and look at how refreshing this pool looks with its fort theming and all the resort guests having fun. Up in the distance is a splash pad for junior explorers. And we've come up to the bridge where we took it across over to Caribbean K, but we're going to continue 
just straight ahead here and make a right around the corner past Banana Cabana. And we're going to make a right here and head down this pathway past Banana Cabana. We're just going to make a left here and we can see a little ping pong table. And straight up ahead was the food court. Over to the left is a nice little fountain. But we're going to swing over to the right and we're going to go into Old Port Royal Lobby. We're going to go through these doors here into the Old Port Royal Lobby. And look at the vaulted ceilings again. Incredible. And those nice ceiling fans. Pretty neat. But we're going to keep going. And just up ahead here on the left is some restrooms right before we go out. The main double doors here. Just going to go out these doors here. And we're going to make a left here at the portico. Prepare to fast forward through time travel. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Caribbean Beach just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.